This might seem as though it is a play field, but in fact, I'm at the heart of the rice field between Adventure and Eversham on the quarantine, where some 22,000 acres of what is supposed to be rice field exist. Some of the farmers started cultivating in November and some in December, and since then, they have not been having water. Now, this is the result the farmers say. Well, we ain't got no water. All them rice, the rice is about 50 days done and then I get water. So, I don't know what they, they can't make nothing like, they don't get nothing. 50 day old rises, no water, bone dry. Crap. If they get water, would you be able to save any of your rice? Yes, if you get water, we go save some, yes, you gotta save, so long as you get the water. Several thousand acres of rice depend on this canal for water, and if it is not supplied urgently, that too will die. Rice lands and the back lands at Blackbush Polder are being irrigated, but those in the front lands are in jeopardy. Farmers have been trying to pump water using tractors, but after hours of pumping, there is no water coming. At the end of the day, they have to pack up, saying it was another unsuccessful day. I'm a rice farmer adventure in here. I cultivated about a 120 acre land, and since the rice true, and it grow, we ain't get no water as yet. Over two months now, we still looking for water. So I know what's gonna be the outcome of it, if we can last the crop, or what gonna happen. But if we get the water now, we can save some of the rice, just so we get back some expense. How much money you might have expended so far on you? We had to expend like four to five million dollars already, invest. And we're just trying to get back some expense right now. See if we could get anything back. And we're not getting any water. Since November last year, the 5274 Water Users Association and the Blackbush Polder Water Users Association had issued an appeal to ensure, seeking to get the regional administration to ensure that the pumps at Manibisi and the ones at Blackbush Polder go into operation so that the farmers can start getting water to go into the crop. The regional chairman had said that he had spoken to the regional executive officer, but she claimed that there was not no. not not enough funds so, f to get the pumps working. But the farmers are the ones who are suffering, and they are now wondering whether the current administration thinks that rice farmers are a part of the economy. Reporting from the Blackbush Folder for the Evening News, Andrew Carmichael.